Okay, let's go ahead and download Save Hollywood. We'll need this to run the screensaver, and you'll need you'll actually get a screensaver with this. Uh, Save Hollywood isn't really compatible with Catalina, but there is a workaround that I'll show you. It has to do with a file that I made. Yep, go ahead and install it. It is installed. Screensaver pop-up came automatically. There's no videos in there. Okay, let's get some videos. Let's download by host folder. Just click on the URL. Click on it. Yes. Okay, it'll take you to Google Drive. You see by host. Right click. Download. This folder is the uh, workaround. It's got a plist file and it needs to be in, in the same folder as the uh, screensaver. There it is. There's our plist and the screensaver file both in the same folder. Okay, copy it and I'm going to move it to somewhere where I can find it later. Not in downloads. Okay, I'm going to put it right there and my Dave Wisda just paste it there okay let's <coughs> go up and yep there it is that's the uh, file it has to be included with the file you're going to use as your screensaver okay system preferences desktop and screensaver go ahead and find it there it is. Screensaver options. Oh, I see it's already loaded the file in for us. It's already there. This, by the way, will only ha only one file will work at a time. If you want to load another one in, you have to delete the one that's in there already. Anyway, it's just a workaround. Uh, there it is. There's our screensaver. Preview it. And there it is. Anti atom, anti matter atoms, and matter atoms, the Trumpster, and all these viruses floating by. Cool, huh? Well, that's about it.